Hi guys, this is Mark from Cologne again. Yeah, today I want to show you the wonderful species Encephalatus middleburgensis. Yeah, hi guys, this is Mark from Cologne again. And today I'm very happy to introduce you the species Encephalatus middleburgensis, which is definitely one of my favorite Transvaal plants. And uh, at first I want to show you the plants I have here in my garden, in my own collection. And then we can switch to Mr. Prince Farm in Thailand to see his plants. And then we can also switch to Chip Jones Garden in Florida. He has a very beautiful Encephalatus middleburgensis there in his garden. And uh, yeah, then we can switch to Joel from Ice Blue Psychics Nursery in San Diego, South California. It'll be very nice. Enjoy! Yes, this is my beautiful Encephalatus middleburgensis Stoffberg form. Um, that I have here in my garden. Oh, I just call it the Stoffberg form. And uh, what is uh, special for the species is if you push down the leaves like this, you can see the back of the leaflets. This is typical for the Enceflatus middleburgensis. And you can see this nice, beautiful, ice blue, powdery, silvery blue uh, coloring on the leaves. This is very nice. And this one is very spiny. That's why we call it the Stoffberg form. The caudex is around about 10 to 12 centimeter in diameter. And yes, I'm very happy with this plant. I love it so much. Yeah, and now let's switch to the little seedlings I have. Now this is my Wilch River seedling. As you can see, it is already producing the second leaf. I'm very happy with it. And uh, yeah, later we will see this form in Chip's garden in a bigger size yes uh, this is my Stoffberg seedling as you can see it is, was pushing a new leaf now and i'm very happy with it and here's also a Stoffberg seedling you can see how nice color they can get yeah so beautiful i love it yes now these were the plants in my garden i wanted to show you and now let's switch to mr prince farm in thailand Yes, nice. This is such a nice plant, typical for Mr. Prince Farm in Thailand. I say typical because this coloring, he has this nice coloring on all his plants. So astounding. And uh, what you can see here in this video, this plant is without spines. So this is a normal form of Enceflatus middleborgensis, not the Stoffberg form. And it has a huge caudex, which is already suckering and uh, it is so nice yeah it's a stunning plant and this is a seedling a middleborgensis stoffberg seedling also nice colored this one will get a spiny plant in future like the one in my garden in my collection and uh, what we can see now is a bigger one there's a bigger stoffberg plant and uh, yeah you can see the spiny this is the difference uh, the Stoffberg form is spiny. You can see this nice spines here on these leaves. And uh, you see this coloring. This extremely nice ice blue coloring. Typical for Mr. Prince Farm. Nice. Back to Cologne. Yeah, thank you so much once again, Prince, for sending your wonderful videos about your beautiful plants. And yeah, now follow me to Chip Jones Garden in Florida. Let's go. Yeah, but the overlap is the correct direction, and none of the other Transvaal plants do that in the, that direction. Yeah. This is typical for Middleburgensis. The uh, succubus arrangement. Yeah. This was the first Middleburgensis I ever bought. It was like a one inch nice. offset. Wow. Like no roots. <laughs> okay. And survived and the small one became the yeah. bigger one. This is nice. It's beautiful.
Because it's, you taught me uh, Middle Burgensis is your favorite at the Palacios. Yeah, another Middle Burgensis that's a special leaf form. Wilge. Wilge is what you say. Wilge. Wilge, yes, I know Wilge. I have Wilge too, but only seedling. But this is Wilge, okay. Yeah, thank you so much again, Chip, for inviting me into your garden. It was very nice to see all the plants there. And uh, yeah, now let's switch to Joel from Ice Blue Psychics Nursery in South California. Yes, guys, isn't that nice? You see this beautiful straight leaves typical for Enceflatus middleborgensis. And uh, yes, you see this huge caudex, so it's a bigger plant already. It's already big enough for coning, I see. And uh, I guess it's a male cone, so let's have a look. Yes, it's a male plant. Uh, you see these male cones, typical brown male cones. Five cones. This is so nice. Such a beautiful plant. And here you see this uh, succubus arrangement of the leaflets. And this very nice ice blue coloring. This is so nice. Thank you so much. Joel. Yes, guys, I'm back home in Cologne now. It was a very nice experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you once again very much, Chip, Prince and Joel for supporting this video. It is really appreciated. And uh, yeah, I hope I see you in the next video. See you then, guys.